All right, now we've looked at what makes a function when we're dealing with, you know, just kind of a picture representation. We've also looked at it with points. Well, now, you know, we need to keep in mind, though, that we're not going to be working with just those in college algebra. We're going to be working with equations. So we need to be able to look at an equation and to determine whether it is actually a function or not. So, um, but, you know, we have to kind of, you know, keep the, the, the basics in mind also. That what applies to points also applies to equations and graphs because they're just a collection of points. Now, the definition of a function was that for every x value there is only one y value. So we really need to think about that as we're going through this. Okay, so determine whether this equation defines y as a function of x. Here we have y equals x cubed. Now, in order for it to be a function, every time I put in an x value here I should only get one y value so let's just try something at the very beginning what if I put in an x value of 0 I would have to cube that to get the y would I only get one y value yes I'd get a 0 for y what if I put in a 2 for x if I put in a 2 for x I would have to cube that and I would get 8 for y. It really doesn't matter what number I put in for x. Whatever that number is, I'm going to cube that and that will be my y value. There are no two things that you can cube and get the exact same y value. So even if we used a negative 2, negative 2 cubed would give us negative 8. So that didn't give us the same thing either. We can look at it just by trying several different points, or we could also look at it graphically. Let's go to our um, TI-83 calculator, 84 calculator here. And if I go to the y equals, and I type in x raised to the third power, this is y equals x cubed. Now I'm going to graph that by hitting zoom 6, and that's what the graph looks like. Now every single point on here and we have to realize it's kinda hard to look at it um, you know on the calculator because not only are we you know getting higher and higher and higher but it's gradually moving out also as it goes higher and same thing with the left side it's uh, not only is it going down on the left side but it's gradually getting further and further and further out in the x direction we have what's called the vertical line test. And the vertical line test says if I pass a vertical line down through the graph anywhere I want to, it should only hit that in one spot and one spot only. That, that means that this is a function. So that's another way of looking at it. Okay, let me go back to my um, equations here. For our next one here, we have y equals the absolute value of x. And again, if I put an x value in here, am I only going to get one y value? Well, yes, I am. I'm going to take the absolute value of it, and that will be y. But we could again look at it on our calculator if we wanted to see. I'm going to go back to the y equals and clear off what I have, and I'm going to type in absolute value. Absolute value, you have to hit math and then arrow over to num and then choose number one for the absolute value and then I'm going to do the absolute value of x and close the parentheses now this is what the absolute value function looks like so again if I were to draw a vertical line down through the graph any vertical line that I want to it's only going to hit this graph in one spot and one spot only each time that means this is a function.